Novel's Corner Show. Yeah, we're in our new space. Yes, with yeah. our newest guest, Holden Brook. Hello, hello. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Holden. How are you two? Good. Oh, how are we? We're great. Yes, yeah. we're doing great. Enjoying the new space. Yes. Enjoying the new space. Yeah. Well, it's not new to her. Yeah. Well, it's it new is new to me, though. The, well, the, the contents of the room. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I came in and like rearranged your room. <laughs> Well, yeah, so um, welcome to the new Neville's Quarter. Yeah, we're excited to have Holden here. He plays a uh, pretty awesome style of guitar. American um, Primitive mm -hmm. Style. Is that the full title? There's people call it American Primitive Guitar. They call it American Primitivism. They just call it Primitive Guitar. But American Primitive Guitar is what I've always said. Cool. See, it goes um, to our roots. Is that why it's called Primitive? Primal, yeah, I guess it's a... Mixture. Uh, you, you told I, me. Explain to people. What so the... Um, the terminology comes from, I, I don't know if John Fahey invented the term, but he definitely was the uh, main progenitor of the style of play that combines um, old time music, blues guitar music, and Appalachian guitar music together into this uh, hybrid of American traditions, thus the American primitive guitar music that's drawn on these primitive uh, traditions. But it also has some roots in English guitar music. Which, Which is, is what you thought was yeah. the first. Well, the, the, I started playing um, fingerstyle guitar music, uh, mainly in the style of Nick Drake, who's an excellent, uh, or was an excellent English songwriter before he uh, tragically killed himself at age 27. Oh, no. um, but he's absolutely lovely guitarist, and you know, back then I didn't play with these metal finger picks, I just played with my uh, pads and my fingers and my nails. And then I started listening to, um, well, people started hearing me play, and I kept telling me, oh, you sound like, uh, you sound like Leo Kopp here, you sound like John Fabian, and I was like, I don't listen Who? to those people, <laughs> yeah. And so then I started listening to them, and I realized, oh, and, and stylistically, I am much closer to, to both of these guitarists than I ever was to Nick Drake. Um, and so eventually, I started playing with the metal finger picks as well. Um, awesome. That was mainly inspired by the, uh, just the, sh the clarity and tone. When you're playing with your pads of your fingers and your fingernails, your hands are sweaty or they're dry, if your nails are slightly longer one day, slightly more shaved down one day, or sharp on the edges, it just changes your tone so much. Yeah. And you don't project very well. And I was doing a lot of playing in coffee shops at the time. And this just... You just hear it all through the room. Yeah. But it's not intrusive. It's not, um, it's not like a, a shrill sound. Yeah. The, the metallic edge just kind of gives it a slightly more artificial sound is how I've always described it. Well, we always like to jump right into the music. Mm -hmm. um, do you have the quarter? I have a quarter. Oh, let's do the quarter coin flip, see who's going to go first for yes. quarter. Yes. How exciting? Yes. <laughs> so you got to call it in the air. Okay. Right? All right. And then you decide whether or not you go first. Heads. Good call. It is. Ah! Heads. 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 Ah! <laughs> Who knows what it was before him, but um, it was heads. <laughs> well, uh, why, don't, why don't you all start with Oh, yeah. the two okay. originals and I'll play along. Cool. I guess Excellent. either one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm assuming it's the you know the two that you yeah, 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 exactly. I might end up not being able to play you along. Mean the two the, that you've never heard. Before. I've never heard. I'm just in, I'm <laughs> improv <-ing> on the spot. <laughs> awesome. So which one are we starting with, Lex? Uh, how about Rose Quartz and Serenity? All right. Cool. All right. Um. So Rose Quartz and Serenity is my Panto and Color of the Year song, defending. Rose Quartz and Serenity as one color. Um, it's it's a, a meditation song, uh, a song to get you through hard times.
chance that I'm not back in classes this next semester and I'm going to take another semester off depending on how this job opportunity works out but 80% chance I will be back at UNC in which well, case well, if, if I'll be are, in the you, you'll uh-huh. probably be Alex Meredith cause he, yeah. um, do you know yeah. if he's reached out to uh, I'm sure he has by this point because okay. <laughs> we do need he's, he's a mandolin, he's a mandolin player, right? player. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do need mandolin players for sure so um, yeah. right. I graduate last semester yeah. and he, um, he's really good and that's, would, with, that's with Russell Johnson Russ Johnson yeah. Yeah. Russ Johnson yeah. Yeah. Russell is fine too but we all call him Russ <laughs> um, cool. I, would, I would play mandolin but I'll be too stretched between 
guitar, banjo, and bass in the band. Yeah, yeah. Bass too. So. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing we always need. You need to all play bass and you go to UNC. Carolina Bluegrass Band desperately needs bass players. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise we'd be forcing Russ to play bass on the last song. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Alright, well let's hear, let's hear that instrumental that you were going to play for us. Okay. Um, this is uh, two songs, maybe maybe three, mixed into a medley. Cool. Um, but they're all instrumental songs. This is a sort of weird tuning. It's a, it's an open F, and I've always got it capoed up one into G, but it's a... Um, I want to say it's like F, F, C, something. Yeah, I, I lose track. Either way. People always wonder about the double F, but what's the point of that there? Well, it's because uh, if, I want, if I want to play anything with an F in the face, I can. It's always there. Uh, anyway, I'll just start on these.
Too. So if somebody wanted to listen to your music, where would they go to find it? Well, if they yeah. wanted to, um, I make music in a variety of different styles besides the American Primitive stuff. Um, if you like this stuff, I have a band camp that's under just my name, um, Holden Ruck. So it's right. Holden Ruck at you know, band camp. Whatever. Yeah. If you search my name, it'll pop up. Um, and that also has my solo banjo music. Um, and one of those songs, the, the last one, which is called Hounds Two, goes like that. Uh -huh. That's actually a song that I generally perform oh. on the banjo, no oh. guitar. Um, but I, I have a recording of that online with okay. some guitar backing and some. So is all this That's stuff? Is this thing. all instrumental stuff, or is it? Something? No. So okay. some of those there's there's on the Holding Rock Bandcamp page there's a, a, a single of banjo stuff. So it's a two sided single, and oh. then there's um, a, about a. 30 minute long record of American primitive guitar music, some of which has vocals, some of which does not. Um, cool. Actually, both of the other two songs I'll play today are on that record, okay. and they both have vocals. Okay. Um, awesome. Could we hear one of them? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll start with the song called You Prayed for Rain. I'd really prefer to play this song last, but oh. you know, with the, uh, the whole changing tunes Tunings, thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it becomes, it becomes uh. somewhat inconvenient. The other terrible part of trying to play guitar when you're sitting down like this is you never know I've always when I sit I cross my legs but I never know what direction to cross them because <laughs> it changes how I, I sit with it and then one day I saw John Fahey and John Fahey sits like this oh there you go like, oh, that's, that's totally not my style I can't sit like that yeah like raising I, I, I'm too yeah. elegant for that oh too um, elegant <laughs> but I'll, I'll before I play the song I'll plug my other fan camp too because oh, yeah. I'm selfish uh, um, is it Holden Rock and Roll? That really hurt my head to hear. Um, but the other rock and roll. <laughs> I could just leave, you know. I don't have to do that. Please don't, please. Um, I'm praying for rain. Oh god. You're not making it better, you're making it worse. Uh, so the other one one band camp is all rock music, but if you like bluegrass music or um, progressive bluegrass music, there is a band camp page called the bathtub of the south. Oh nice. Um, oh, yeah, I think I saw you post something about yeah, that you, once in a yeah. like that. Um, <laughs> but that that phrase is actually taken from a uh, uh, John Hartford lyric oh, really? on um, uh, his his album Aero Steam Powered Aerial Plane with uh, uh, who plays on that? It's Bassard Clements and um, Norman Blake. Oh cool. Uh, so yeah, that's bluegrass music. Um, Usually what I do is, for that, I'll post an original song paired with a uh, really old bluegrass song that I've covered. Um, so the most recent 
post I did was an original. Actually, it was two originals, and the last song was um, uh, what's it called? Um, Rot, Salt, and Nails, which is an old Utah Phillips song that's been adapted by a lot of bluegrass artists, but mm. most notably J.D. Crone in the New South did a version. It's just absolutely excellent. That's the first version I heard. Um, anyway, so if you like bluegrass music, there's that as well, but for more American primitive guitar music, just search my name. It's the easiest one to find. Thank so the song is called uh, You Paper Rain, and it's, it sounds sad. I'm sorry, if you don't want to be sad. <laughs> song, but it's sort of a, yeah. it's kind of, uh, I don't know how <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah. me feel. <laughs> but um, I actually started writing that a really long time ago. It's brilliant. It's a, it's a really great song. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I wonder if we should restart it because
because we got a phone call during it that looks, song. It looks like we were still that. Yeah, but last time this happened to Rebecca Newton, and afterwards, everything was off. What's so this? we had the volume still. Hey, comment if you can, you. if the image is still good. It says people are watching. Oh, really? <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> um, I'll go um, and start returning. <laughs> This oh, you start yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll unlock the door, maybe. Maybe I told you to give it to your sister. Are you going to restart the video? Do you want me to? To be safe, you might want to. We, we got a comment. in which I, I make music besides the Carolina Bluegrass Band and all my solo stuff is I play as a, a, a duo with my friend Leah Moore. And she oh. plays mandolin? She is that plays what mandolin and guitar yes. and sometimes I'll play a, I'll play guitar or banjo or mandolin. I've never sung man, so she's a, an excellent singer and uh, a vocal or just recently graduated vocal major at UNC. <laughs> Right now. Oh, yeah, looks good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> testing, testing. There's <laughs> quite a delay. Cool. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is the difficult part, is that uh, after I capo it, it's still all messed up, and I think it's, it just needs a proper setup. It's been a while since the guitar's been set up. Yeah. Okay, and, you know, in my defense, I've not played this song or in this tuning since oh, when since I played for y'all. Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a month ago. What's this one called? The song is called Nissan. It's written about, oh, great story behind this song. So it was written about a car of a friend of mine that I drove around in a good bit because we had that all the time. And um, hadn't written it for about six months. And then early this summer, me, uh, my friend Sophia, my friend Eileen, we all met. And mm -hmm. then my friend um, Jack, we all get in this car to go to a movie. And we get about 200 yards from their house and it catches on fire. What? So this car is now dead, and uh, this song I, I dedicate to its memorial. This is a wonderful song for a car. I made it's a, it's a okay song. It's a wonderful. At this point, I'm stalling so I can remember how. To... You're stalling like yeah, a car. To... <laughs> Just don't catch on fire. Sorry, <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, maybe I can make him catch up. Okay. I'm scared. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, you got yeah. the, the white light. I can really... see a reflection <laughs> on his glasses. So now you can tell that I'm really, really greasy. Thanks for that. Are we going to keep this off? Okay. <laughs> well, I noticed that it's getting dark on there. Smells and wetly, an old Nissan sticking with. 
red sap from the dare out of trees and the clinging web of the spider to put down your eating mess. Speakers are broke, they rattle on the songs and loosen and choke down by silvery plates in your head now. Our ears drink in songs and our lips pour them out. show and um what do you mean gave he, he <laughs> literally handed them to me it's like you <laughs> have these it was funny though because before i played banjo yeah. and it was before i uh had even started using metal oh, finger right. pits for guitar music and so he just i had them and i was like well i guess i can make use of these yeah. absolutely <laughs> so i do um but you know most banjo players i play with uh, a plastic thumb pit yeah but i use a metal one uh, I, I really hate plastic thumb pits because I, I wear them down so fast. Uh, um, mm. And as far as precision goes, you know, it's constantly changing how deep it is. And I, I constantly have to adjust my uh, so form. Another which is thing not to fun. think about, you yeah. don't need to. So, so besides playing guitar, you play piano, what else? Oh, Banjo. I play basically anything with strings uh -huh. um, I can play. Uh, uh -huh. But, you know, I'm best at guitar, banjo, and, mandolin. And then on top of that, you are a radio DJ, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so for a... see full view of my ridiculous Hawaiian shirt. Um, <laughs> for WXYC 89.3 FM Chapel Hill, which is UNC's college radio station. My favorite local station. Um, I do a show every Thursday from 12 to 3 p.m. It's called Roy G. Mustang's Pick and Review, and that's review with a U-E, not an I-E-W. Um, so it's basically a celebration of a particular era, artist, or tradition within a bluegrass contest. Um, and I try to give context for the artist through narrative, so stories, um, when I can, interviews, um, and live performances, as well as uh, drawing from their catalog, either what we have in the station at WXYC, so we have a pretty extensive library, or I bring my own stuff in. Um, and I, I play from that. So this summer, That's for example, resource. we featured a... Um, we also do some close harmony stuff that isn't really bluegrass. So the Lubin Brothers, you know, arguably not very bluegrass at all, but mm -hmm. definitely close harmony. Um, Lubin Brothers, we've done uh, John Hartford, um, the Kruger Brothers, who make um, yeah. orchestral yeah. bluegrass yeah. music. They, they play at our church, the do they? Oh, yeah, Church yeah, Concert right, yeah. Series. Huh. Yeah, yeah but, um, yeah. Yins is just an incredible banjo player. And then... Um, then next up this this Thursday. So tomorrow, twelve to three, is uh, Doyle Lawson and his career. So Doyle Lawson with Quitsover, Doyle Lawson with the album band, um, and uh, hopefully some footage from 
Doyle Lawson's bluegrass festival that he hosted in the 80s, oh, yeah. um, which was just called the Doyle Lawson and Fritzilver Festival. So I'm going to listen. That's cool. I've been wanting to listen for a while. I need to try harder. It's so a fun Thursdays time. Thursdays at noon? Thursdays right? at noon, from noon Thursdays to three. Yeah. Um, usually, though, the... Well, if we're on the road tomorrow, we could just tune in tomorrow. There you go. And the best way to listen, you can turn in, tune in to 89.3 FM, or you can... Um, go to the sorry, website. Sorry, add it. You can go to the website, <laughs> listen through uh, the online stream. And that's how I listen most of the time. You oh, okay. get better sound quality from the yeah. online stream. Actually, yeah, another weird fact: yeah. WXYC was the first radio station in the uh, in North America to stream on the internet. No way! Was the very yeah. first one. Wow, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> um, but huh. usually, the first you know two hours of the show are the specialty show, and then the last hour, I just do a a, a free form segment where I do I play whatever I want. So that that spans way out from bluegrass cool. into you know jangle pop or yeah, indie rock or just whatever that I'm, I'm listening to at the time. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. Um, would you play one with us at the end here? Right. Um, I'll probably... Are we in the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm in a weird oh. tuning now. Oh, yeah, so... But, um, yeah. We can hand you a banjo. You can do whatever <laughs> you want. How much time on the banjo? I don't think it's in tune, though. <laughs> yeah. You can see how that goes. <laughs> the bridge is all wonky. Oh, well, you could try to tune it. Thank you.
so much for joining us. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. See you guys uh, next week.